Hello everybody, what's up? It's Kendra the Maverick Girl and we're here with uh, some sweet, sweet box openings because Zendikar Rising just came out and so I've got set boosters, box one, and I got a box two as well. So we're going to be opening up this box this week and then this box next week. So make sure you hang tight and uh, keep uh, watching the channel, like, subscribe, all of that good stuff so you can keep up with that. But we're going to do something a little different this week. First off, I'm in a bit of a different place. Um, I'm visiting some family. So I've got a nice little guest with me. This is my little brother, Josh. Howdy. And Josh uh, just recently got back into Magic. He's been playing a lot of Commander and stuff like that, EDH, um, and having a good time with that. But you have some history with the game as well, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, used to go to tournaments with you all the time. Used to play probably back like uh, late middle school, early high school, I'd say, and just kind of dropped out of it. But now that I'm a little bit, you know, more grown and just, I don't know, I, I like the, you know, the strategic aspect of the game. I just got back into it and it's been really fun to play casually. And, yeah. You know, you and know. obviously with everything that's going on in the world right now, trying to, you know, um, just find something to do. I know that was one one of the big things too, yeah, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. So for sure. Um, so he's got some history with this game. Uh, obviously, I have been playing the game for uh, uh like twenty twenty one years. That's almost as old as him. Yeah. <laughs> so he's you're what twenty three. Twenty three now. Yeah. Uh -huh. There it is. And um, so um, he where I've been playing this game for that whole time. He's kind of always seen those cards so he you know remembers some of these cards seen them so uh he's he's got some history because what we're again what we're doing today is we're doing these set boosters where we can not only open the zendikar rising cards and the exit editions but we can also open cards from the list and the list is the 300 cards that were previously printed in magic's history and that could include cards all the way from all the way back from Mirage onwards, so 1997 onwards, um, and does include some promo cards too. They reprinted some like textless promos, GP foils, things like that. So, with that having been said, let's bring things on down to our fun little. Um, oh, I didn't do that right, but okay, sure. What the heck? Okay, um, I'm trying to like change it to a fade, but whatever. Um, there we go. We got there. We got there. We got there. Hey. <laughs> um, <laughs> it it didn't really work the way I wanted it to, but okay. <laughs> um, so uh, we are down here at the Handycam, and as you can probably see right here, I um, have a nice little Zendikar Rising set booster box. There are 30 booster packs in this uh, box. And we're going to go open it up slowly, but surely I bought my box at CoolStuffInc.com. You can check them out right here. And uh, you can use my promo code TMG5, and it'll get you 5% off of your next order from CoolStuffInc.com. But uh, no, uh, doesn't, doesn't stack with your customer rewards if you have that, unfortunately. But still a good deal. Zendikar Rising has been hard to come by on CoolStuffInc.com, but that's because allocation for the set has been very shaky very weird uh these cards are actually kind of hard to come by especially these set boosters you know everybody wants these because you can get old cards in them i mean who doesn't want those sweet old cards i know i do but that's because i've been playing for 20 years and i'm very nostalgic about this game so um but that having been said whoa camera dropped a little bit there but, oh well, whatever <laughs> um <laughs> we're going to just you know we're just going to dive on in i got a nice little pen here we're gonna open this up and dive right on into this box. We can get this open. There it is. Ah, didn't go really all the way. Yeah, we had a nice uh, little adventure last night. Um, this is why this video is going up a little bit later than normal. Normally, I would be posting these on Saturdays, and this is obviously going up on Sunday. Um, we had a nice little adventure yesterday with a. Uh, uh, a car breakdown so uh ugh, not really thrilled about that but it ended up working out well in the end so we're gonna see what we got with that but for now we gotta focus on the good stuff here zendikar rising set booster packs 
Check that out. And look at that. The packs look nice. The packs are awesome. The yeah. box is really sweet. Like, I just kind of love this whole setup. Um, and then we have this right here. That is our Expedition box topper. Do you know anything really about these, Josh? A little bit. I know that, uh, you know, they're pretty much like stapling money just right into the, uh, right. Right into the box. The cheapest one of these currently, as I'm aware, um, I goes for like eight dollars i think but like your average one will, like, will go for like 15 20 dollars and the higher end ones go for like 50 60 dollars i think caber souls might be in the 70 range so we could open up something really sweet here i'm really excited to see what we open but we're gonna save this for the end obviously we want to you know get through all the other stuff first and then we'll get to the sweet sweet box topper and try and see if we can find a fetch land i personally want a cavern souls actually i want i think i want a prismatic vista for my cube so we'll see what we get there but we're gonna put that off to the side for now and we're gonna just dive on into the set boosters so set boosters are a little different from your normal booster pack um i know your friend um who kind of sort of got you back into magic mm -hmm. um said he opened some of these did you watch him open them or did you just you know see the polls afterwards i know what his friend opened a monastery mentor so you can open some really sweet old cards oh yeah but no yeah i mean it, i was watching you, him the whole time and you know we were going through it and you know uh had some really awesome we were hoping for some full art uh mm -hmm. lands um, but, uh, you know, we got some really great cards just in the back and just, you know, you can pull old stuff and it's really fun. It's, it's exciting. It just yeah. adds a whole nother layer to it, I think. So these packs are actually laid out differently from draft booster packs, which are the packs that your average player has been buying for the last 25 plus years. You know, however long Magic's been around now, which is, I think, 27 years. Um, so we, we're just going to go through this first pack and kind of show off what we're gonna what we're gonna get here um and so the way, way it starts you get a art card so this is morag a fury of a coom or something like that hey we got it i actually remembered that name then you have a uh full art basic land and then a bunch of commons and uncommons that are just uh kind of thematically linked so we're gonna just gonna go through these a little bit and um and i think then we have the wild card slot which could be any rarity so here we've just got an uncommon brush fire elemental um i i don't remember how it works entirely like where where they all are so i could be very wrong on a lot of this um but yeah so then it's just all over the place you can get all these different cards yeah, I, I, I guess I totally forgot about, like, the amount of cards that you can get in each slot, like, where your wild cards are and all that. But our first rare is a Maddening Cacophony, so I'll take that. That's a sweet little uh, mill rare. I wish my lighting was a little bit better here, unfortunately. But uh, then we have a guaranteed foil is Nahiri's Binding. That is a sweet one. And a little token thing. I haven't seen this one. Huh. Oh, that's right. They talk about all the different games and ways you can play Magic. Okay. Sweet. So, yeah, I don't remember all of these. Um, I think it's like this one was the wild card. Uh, wow, I can't remember any of these. Um, but then this one is like you get a guaranteed flip card in every pack or something. Again, it, it's been a while. Um, I forget exactly how these are all linked. But we're just going to go through it and just... Keep opening them sweet cards and seeing what we get. We got... Ooh, that's Grove of the Burn Willows. That's one of those expeditions I would like to see very much. We have ourselves a nice mountain. Molten Blast. Inordinate Rage. Shadow Stinger. Cleric of Life's Bond. Relic Vile. Spring Mantle Cleric. Dread Worm, there's a showcase card right there. Those are sweet. What do you think about these showcase cards? I think they look badass. There you are. There it is. And we have Cleansing Wildfire. I think this should be our wild card slot, and that's a not the greatest wild card, but hey, I'll take it. Rabid Bite. I think it's two wild card slots. I think that's what it is. And then we have an Archpriest of Iona. That's a sweet little rare. 
And a foil Cliff Haven Cell Sword. Nice. With a little insect token. Little buggy boy. All right. Let's... Buggy boy. <laughs> Ooh. So this, since this is on our, the back side, I don't know if you watched it on, caught that on the last pack, but the back side was a token before, so it, it looked like an advertisement on the back. This is an actual magic back. So what this means, we're getting a card from the list, everybody. Ooh. Ooh, there it is. That's exciting. So. My heart's already beat. Yeah, let's see what we get. This is, I think, Sea Chrome Coast. We got ourselves a Swamp, Scale the Heights, Mind Drain, Glacial Grasp. So it's like some blue-black action. Sky Cle Skyclave. We got Wind Robber. Kabira Takedown. Our first wild card is Sneaking Guide. The second one is Nimana Sky Dancer. We're just seeing a lot of common so far. Oh, yeah. We have a rare of Kaza Royal Chaser. Nice. With a foil of Rabbit Bite. Now we have our list card. Oh, wow. You can see that list card by the little Planeswalker stamp in the corner there. This is an old school one. So what do we have? We have a Doran the Siege Tower. Ooh. Doran was actually getting up there in price for a little bit. I didn't even realize that Doran was on the list. This is a really sweet card. Have you ever read this one before, Josh? Mm -mm. So this is three mana, zero five, legendary tree folk shaman. That's Each fun. creature assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. And this is definitely a very powerhouse card in EDH and a very fun one. So like, I'm very happy to open that as my as my list card. Definitely. For seeing there, you can see on the back that's just an ad card, not a card from the list. So we need more list. We've got. So uh, I don't this. know what this one is. Kite sail cleric, I think. Uh, swamp. Molten blast. Inordinate rage. Scavenge blades. These are a bunch of red green stuff. We got fearless fledgling. Can you see this art? Oh my the goodness. little bird! It's just like, ah! <laughs> it's That's great, hilarious. right? Yeah. Vastwood Fortification. We have our first wild card is Skyclave Squid. Ooh, we got a wild card rare of Archpriest of Iona. And our actual rare is Coveted Prize. Nice. With a foil of Drana's Silencer. And a copy token. These copy tokens are great. I started those with double masters. And, like, I always like to copy stuff, but I always, like, have to, like, kind of make my own tokens. So, like, having an actual copy token is kind of nice. All right. Ooh, speaking of Jace, we got Jace right there. Jace uh, Mirror Mage, I think it is. And, ooh, Island. I love this Whirlpool Island. Have you seen this? Yeah. It's, it's so incredible. nice, right? We got Royal Eruption, Scorch Rider. Blood Beckoning, whoop, Field Research, Skyclave Plunder, con con uh, Concerted Defense, Territorial Scythe Cat is our uh, showcase card. I really like this card uh, for like Popper. I think, you know, there's a card called Kyrian uh, Ranger. Mm -hmm. You might not know it, but I know it very well. And viewers of this channel obviously probably know it because they know me for playing the deck that uses Kyrian Ranger. But Kyrian Ranger lets you untap a creature by returning a forest from your battlefield to your hand. So you can use it constantly to bring a land back to your hand and then replay it pumping up this. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it's a really cool card. Uh, nice. So we got Chilling Trap is our first wild card. Hey, we're two for two on double rares. Relic Robber is our second wild card rare. And then we have Skyclave Apparition for another rare and a Tejuru snare caster with a plant token. Nice, let's keep it going. We got plenty more packs to go through. Plenty more, no list card this time. Womp womp. All right, we got Island, Scavenge Blade, Broken Wings. We got Utility Knife. So this looks like an equipment package kind of thing. Interesting. We, oh, thank you. Yeah, no worries. Ah! Stack is, stack is falling over. We got <laughs> Song Mad Treachery is our flip card. These are really cool. These, like, flip cards. Like, I know, like, you're kind of newer getting back into this, Josh. Like, are, what do you think of, like, flip cards? 
I think they're cool. I mean, I know that you're going to need sleeves to play with them. Um, Not necessarily. Oh, no? No. Oh, really? Well, we might see something like that. We'll explain that. But, yeah, keep going. I mean, I, I haven't really had much experience with them, so I haven't, you know, and that's exactly, I mean, you probably heard that right there with me thinking that you need sleeves for them. And yeah. And that probably shows how much experience I have. So, um, normally you would need sleeves for, like, this, uh -huh. but you can get a checklist card where you can write in, it has a normal magic card back, mm -hmm. but you write in what the front and back are. Interesting. So it, it, it takes the place of this card, mm -hmm. and you have this card off to the side, and use it to automatically like replace it mm. when you play so it. So it's like a proxy. Almost, yes, so basically. Of, it's like an official proxy. Huh. Um, so we have Grotag Bug Catcher is our first wild card. Zolaport Duelist. And we have a rare of Verizal, the Split Current for our rare. Sweet. And a Marasa Sproutling for our foil. There's a guaranteed foil in every pack of these, Josh. Makes it so much more fun. I was telling you that these are just fun packs to open. Oh, they're great. Mm -hmm. I'm so thrilled. Oh, no list card again. Daggers. We need some list cards. Where are we at? got this um, Pathway art card. We got our Swamp. We got Kabira Outrider. Stonework Pack Beast. Colossus. Just a whole bunch of stuff here. Shadow Slinger. Cleric. We got, ooh, Chasm Dune Nectar Pot for our showcase card. Our first wild card is Ardent Electromancer. We have a Lull Mage's Familiar. And our rare is Scourge of the Skyclaves. That's a mythic rare right there, Josh. Oh, shit. That is a sweet mythic rare. This card is about $15 right now. Wow. I think. I don't know if it's gone down. Like Prices are fluctuating weird with Zendikar Rising. So this card may have gone up, may have gone down. Obviously, now we're out of pre-orders, so who knows? And then we have a foil of Utility Knife. Nice. With a Goblin Construct token to go with that Relic Robber that we got earlier. Nice. I wish the lighting was just a little better, but maybe, eh. That's a, that's a, that's a future problem. We can do that for later videos or whatever. Uh, I my flashlight, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got no, uh, no list card again, but it even tells you what is the list. You know, it's one, one in four new, all new set boosters contains a card handpicked from Magic History. So we got another one of these art cards. We got our Forest, Vanquish the Weak, Blood Price, Feed the Swarm. This card is wild. It's wow. like the first black card that actually is targeted enchantment removal. Really? Yes. Wow. It's like a brand new thing. They tried doing a little bit in Theros Beyond Death, but... That was more like they, your opponent gets the choice of what they're sat, what they're losing. This one is you choose it, it's gone. That's crazy, actually. Yeah, Black has never had that before. It's great, and we have Akum Hellhound for our showcase card. Looks nice. Our first, um, I mean, it's it's a reverse. It's a red Steplinks. Steplinks was a card from Zendikar, oh, yeah. original Zendikar. So really cool. We've got synchronized Spellcraft is our first wild card. Skyclave Geopete is our second wild card. And for our rare, we have Linvala, Shield of Seagate. Nice. Yeah, wow. With a foil of Mesa Lynx. So this is kind of like meant to be like a kind of throwback of Step Lynx, but not really. Yeah. And a Drake token. Wow. Awesome stuff. Yeah. All right. Are those rares always commons? Or are they, can they be any rarity? Or not the the foils, the, and then, yeah. The foils, yeah. foils can be any rarity. The list cards can be any rarity. It's wild. Mm. We got Tazri here. Tazri's awesome. Love her. We've got our forest. Hagra Constrictor, Cool Draws Muck Lord. I love this map. You log into Magic Online and it shows you this image. It says, "I once caught a merfolk this big." And I was just thinking about Futurama and the reference. So there's like. Bender's like, oh yeah, well I caught a, once caught a fish this big. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, I just love the puns. I think I know exactly who wrote the flavor text for like some of these cards. It's just great. Uh, Glacial Grasp, Relic Amulet. We have a McKinney Ox for our showcase. Mind Drain is our first wild card. Bubble Snare is our second. And our rare is Branch Loft Pathway. This is a 
double-sided land. These are awesome, but we're going to check that out in just a second. We've got to check our foil to see Gate Colossus and a token of Illusion. Now, this, the way this works is you get to choose what, what side this comes in as. So it's land like this on this side, or it's this one. Oh, wow. And you just choose which side it comes into play as. And these are some of the strongest lands that we've ever seen in Magic. I love these things. These will all, once Call Time comes out and we get the last four that need to be released, they'll all probably end up in my cube. I love these cards. They're great. And they're also pretty hard to come by these days, honestly. You know, Zendikar Rising being very short printed currently and whatnot. So we'll have to see what happens. But we've got, that. yeah, where's the list cards? Mm -hmm. We've got our planes, Might of Marasa, Gnarled Colony, Royal Eruption, Scorch Rider, Thundering Rebuke, Low Mage is Familiar, Vastwood Fortification is our flip card slash showcase. Our first wild card is a Seagate Colossus. Our second is a base camp. And our rare is another pathway yeah, land awesome. yeah. with a foil Shepherd of Heroes and a copy token. So once again, it's got the white on the front and there it is black on the back. And you can just choose whatever side you want it to come in as. Like these are all like a couple dollars, solid couple dollars each. I could use that for my great. Yeah, Right, exactly. No list again. What the hell? No, I don't know. All right. We got an art card of... Ooh, it's that island that I love. Nice. Hey, check that out. Really? A foil planes. Oh, that's nice. These are always sweet, like a full arts. I forgot that the full arts lot can sometimes be foil. That's pretty awesome. Tuck Tuck Rubble Fort. I actually need foils for this card. This card's great. It's going to be seen playing Popper Elves and Wonder Walls, I'm sure. Subtle Strike... Got Hunger, got Muck Lord, Surefooted Infiltrator, Umara Wizard, Disenchant. I love that they brought Disenchant back again properly. Brush Fire Elemental, and our rare is Crawling Barons with a foil, a Coom Warrior flip card, and a little cat token. Look at that, little kitty cat. Little kitty token. <laughs> All right, let's try. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting the list cards. Nice, nice. All right, so we got first, we got, uh, I think this is a Plains. We got our Forest, Into the Royal, great reprint. Spoils, Journey to Oblivion, Allied Assault, Maria Captain, Relic Axe. This is like a five uncommon pack. Wow. And we got Akum Warrior, Glacial Grasp is our first wild card, Shell Shield is our second. Our rare is Sky Clave Shade with a foil of Moss Pit Skeleton. And our list card is Goblin Lore. Look at that sweet, sweet old border. This card used to be like $40. Wow, really? And then it like, got reprinted. The deck it was being played in isn't as good anymore. This is awesome, though. Like, I love the fact that we can just open just old, old, old cards like this. Yeah, like, it looks... It looks vintage. It's awesome. It's so great, right? Whew. My arms are getting... Ugh. A little sore there, huh? A little sore. I'm like holding the... I'm having to hold these packs in a way I'm not really used to. Normally, I'm like dead center. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's another list one. Oh, there is another list card. Oh, yeah. boy. What do we got? Let's try and get to that list card. What? A second foil... That's nice. Land, that's awesome. Yeah, that's great. We're going to skip through these commons and uncommons first. Hey, a Ruin Crab, that's awesome. And we're going to go right to the good stuff. So we got our McKinney Stampede. We got Skyclave Sentinels, our first wild card. Risen Riptide is our second. And our rare is Orin Reef Ooze with a foil of Dread Ooh. Worm Showcase. Check that out. But our list card is Retreat to Coral Helm. So this one isn't really worth as much. Like those other cards are actually like a couple dollars each. Mm -hmm. This one isn't really worth anything. But it's a cool card that sees play. Uh, it's obviously older. It's from the last Zendikar time we went to Zendikar, like five, six years ago. So this is still a really cool card to have. I'm cool. I enjoy kind of opening these, even if it's not necessarily great or anything. So I'm happy with that. Nice. Nice little 
hit there from the list. That's helpful. Not the greatest. I'm not going to have Tulare Community College's luck where he opened a, um, training grounds in his video. I might say that now. <laughs> yeah. Um, so all right, so we're going here. Go. We got Bollet Ged Recovery. We got Merfolk Falconer as our first list card. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Wow. Woo! That's a second. That is a rare and it's a showcase rare, but we. Wow. Oh my gosh. So not only did we hit the showcase flip rare, which oh, you can wow, see. Yeah, look great. at that. Have you not seen these? These are yeah, great. It looks amazing. So not only did we hit that, but we also hit a mythic rare drawn of the last blood chief. And our foil of Resolute Strike. That is just... That's a great pack. Mm, that is an awesome pack. That is exactly the kind of pack that I want to see more of. So let's see if we can try and keep that momentum going. What is up with these packs? See that? It's like this little line going through it. Like some of these packs have it and some of them don't, I notice. Mm. Kind of weird. Very interesting. We got our little arena token. You know, if you want to go to arena, check out arena. Play Zendikar is a free thing to get you some free... Uh, thing. Wow. Ooh, another, another foil. And they're all different. Land. Too. That's awesome. Foil plant or foil forest. It looks like we've got some blue white nonsense here. We've got a prowling felidar for our showcase card. We have expedition champion for our first wild card. Malakir blood priest for our second. And our rare is Valakut exploration. Nice with a foil of. Sea Gate Banneret. I want to see a foil rare. That's what I want to see next. Yeah, was, you know that's I mean? why I asked you about it because I've only been seeing common foils. I feel like. Yeah, foil uh, commons and uncommons. No, yeah. no real rares. Rares only show up like you get like one or two a box usually. Yeah. So we'll see what we get. But we got ourselves a mountain. We got all of these commons and uncommons. But now we got our showcase, which is Skyclave Pickaxe. Blood Price is our first wild card. Spare Supplies is our second. And our rare is Inscription of Insight with a foil of Dauntless Unity. Nice. Not, not that bad. Not that bad. <sighs> cards in wrong places. No list. No list. We need more lists. Where are they at? <sighs> All right. We got a Swamp. Bunch of commons and uncommons. We've got Spike Field Hazard. This card's actually seen play because of Lotus Cobra. We've got Kazandu Nectar Pot. Tormenting Voice. And our rare is Undo Inversion with a foil of Vast Wood Surge. So this turns in, you can play it as land or as a spell. Oh, wow. So one or the other, whatever you want at any point in time in a game. Let's keep it going. We've still got a nice, healthy number of packs. Hey, and there's a list. Got some list action going on here now. All right, we got our Whirlpool Island, like that. Tuck Tuck Rubble Fort and some other commons and uncommons. We got Kazul's Fury. Our first wild card is Highborn Vampire. Our second is Tazim Royal Mage, and our rare is Aura Skyclave Hierophant. And we have a foil of Akiri, Fearless Ooh. Voyager. There's there our foil you, rare. There rare. you go. Nice. Oh, that's good. And is this going to be a triple rare pack? I saw that. It looked like a Future Sight frame. What? Oh, boy. All right. This one is really cool. This is Dryad Arbor. I play this in Legacy Maverick, and I love this card. This is confusing. Josh, I got to ask your thoughts. As someone who's newer to Magic, what are your thoughts on this card? Let me see here. All right. If it isn't a spell, it's affected by something. Interesting. It's a land, and it's a creature. Yeah. That's <laughs> fun, I guess. This card is actually like a $10 card. Really? It's a very unique card, and it's just it's great. It's probably going to go down in price because it'll probably get reprinted in Time Spiral or Remastered sure. next year. But this is a great pull. And, I mean, we're doing really good on our list hits because, like, some of the list cards, they're not that great. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see if we can keep that momentum up and hopefully we can see the scroll rack or something like that. We have two more lists. Guys. Yeah, we got to have plenty more to go still. All right, we got our planes and some commons and uncommons. We've got Zoff Consumption. 
Stonework Pack Beast. Woo! Ooh, Lotus man. Cobra! There it is. Probably gonna be banned tomorrow, but eh, whatever. <laughs> um, Lotus Cobra, wow, this is a great hit. I really want to see the uh, the showcase one. The showcase one is beautiful. So I love this card. This is great. This is exactly what we want to be opening. So we will take that. For sure. Because then we have another rare, which is Soul Shatter. That is that's an awesome card. And we have a foil of Highborn Vampire with just an ad card. Cool. Wow, double rare, and one of them is Lotus Cobra. Remember when Lotus, Co Lotus Cobra is still a powerhouse, as ever. Oh, yeah. I think it's Horizon Canopy or Windswept Teeth. Windswept Teeth, okay. We maybe see a Windswept Teeth in our little expit. Yeah, a little expedition right here. We've got our island and some commons and uncommons. We have Jawari Disruption. Practice Tactics is our first wild card. We have No Priest of Oblivion. That's a rare for our wild cards. We got a double rare pack. There you go. And Roiling Vortex is our other pack. It's like a modern day Sulfuric Vortex. And we have a foil of Crawling Barons. Look at that. Triple, triple rare, rare. Triple rare pack. There I mean, go. I'm going to be honest. The pack that had the Dryad Arbor. Dryad Arbor is technically an uncommon, but it might as well be a rare. Let's be real here. That was a <laughs> great pack. That's a nice foil. You know, Crawling Barons isn't really worth that much. See, neither is the Akiri, the, those two foils. List card. But, ooh, list. list. Got some list. List. I'm ready. Soul Shatter artwork. I love this. The artist whose name I can't remember right now, their art is incredible. And I love having them in Magic. Like, very storybook-esque. And I just, I love it so much. We got our planes. A bunch of commons and uncommons. We got Skyclave Cleric. Our first wild card is Marasa Brute. Our second is Anticognition. And our rare is Kazan Do Mammoth Showcase. The showcase. Look at that, nice. right? Yeah. It's very colorful and bright. I love it. And Gruel draws Muck Lord. All right, you ready for this list action? Let's see what we got. It's black. It's an old card, 2 2. It is Cadaverous Knight. Ooh. So this is not like a rare or anything. It's not very great. But this is from Mirage. Wow. This is all the way back from 1997. So like... The year I was born. There like, this is not a great card or anything. Like, it's not worth anything. But I love seeing these. Just from the nostalgia factor. There's just... Mm, I love it. I love this so much. This is exactly the kind of thing I want to see. So I like this, even if it's not a great poem. So I'm happy with that. And that's why I was very happy with... And I'll leave that. I was very happy with, like, all the mystery booster nonsense, too. Same same, same reason, basically. All right. Ooh, Nahiri. Check out that Nahiri. All right. And another foil basic land. Check Ooh. that out. That's, that's a new cup island. Like that. We've got our commons and uncommons. Into Akuma Hellhound for our showcase card we have scaled heights orin reef ooze is our first is our second wild card and our actual rare is coral helm chem chronicler excuse me couldn't read that for a second nice and a lull mages familiar well <laughs> no lull. <laughs> all right um no list again big daggers all right we got a land i think it's prismatic vista we got planes and some commons, uncommons. We're into a Canyon Jerboa. Nice with the showcase. We have Into the Royal. It's our first wild card. Our second wild card is Allied Assault. And our th our rare is Amaria's Call. That's another sweet mythic. Wow. And one of those ones that flips into a land. No so we have our foil then is Tuck Tuck Ascetic. So yeah, this one, and that card, of course. But then Amaria's Call, and you play it as a land or a powerhouse effect on the other side. This is a sweet, sweet card worth uh, you know a nice little couple dollars there. So I'm happy to take that. We've got about 
seven booster packs left, including what's in my hand. So we gotta make this count, Josh. Yeah, let's get it. At least two more wilds. I'm putting it out there. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do. Got our forest, couple commons, uncommons. Got Skyclave Geopede Showcase card. We have our first wild card is Dauntless Unity. Our second one is Inscription of Ruin. And I see that. Is that a borderless card? It is. Ooh. It is a borderless Jace Mirror Mage. Check that out. That I love awesome. this art. Have you seen this art before? Yeah. This is sick artwork, right? Oh, yeah. Wow. This is just awesome. That's a sweet, sweet hit right there. Oh, man. That's really cool. a great little card, too. So I'm happy with that. And we have a Sea Floor Stalker. Nice. All right, we'll see it. There it is. There's a list action. All right, we'll get to that in a second. We got our art card. Another foil mountain. So many of these foils. I love it. We keep getting them. And our commons and uncommons into a can canopy bailoth for our showcase. Jiraga Visionary is our first wild card. Our second one is Grotag Night Runner. And our rare is Mall of the Skyclaves. Nice. All right. With a foil of Ghastly Gloom Hunter. Nice. And we have our list card is. Ooh, oh. it's uh, from it's green. It's a one one from Portal because it's got that sword and the shield. I think it's like Willow Dryad or something. Hey, hey got, got it. it. Right. Nice. Willow yeah. Dryad. Not a great card, but that art is beautiful. And I think it's well-liked because of how nice that art is. It's, like, very shady, yeah. kind of. I just, I love that card. perfect for the green. And that's, again, it's again it's one of those things where it's, it's not a great card. But it's very nostalgic and very, you know, I don't know. It's, just, it, it's really awesome and exactly the kind of card that I personally love to see. All right. So, let's continue on. No list. No list. I need the list. An island, Spitfire, some other commons and uncommons. We got Palaka Predation, Dauntless Survivor. We have N Nimana Skitter Sneak. And our rare is Inscription of Insight. Nice. With a foil of Field Research and a Construct Token. Nice. All right, all right. Josh, we want to take a pack? Sure. Take a pack. There you go. Get my hands in here. Try to yeah. stand up, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> All right. From the back. No list. Ah, uh, daggers. Can't give them to me. All right, let's see what we got. A little art card. Art card. <laughs> You're upside down. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. All right. All right, this is a cool, cool mountain. Some uh, blood beckoning, another field research, which we just got the uh, foil of. Alrighty. Vine Gecko. Vine Gecko, alright. Spitfire Lagak is our showcase card. Showcase there, yep. First wild card. Alright, uh, Territorial Skycat. And then, alrighty. Ooh. For our rare, we got a Magmatic. Channeler. Channeler, all right, and our foil is an Oblivion's Hunger. Yeah, the back Channeler is super powerful for like instructed plays, so definitely expected to see that in like mono red deck type of things. But it's a very good card, so very nice pack. And you got a little right insect, here, right? little insect token. Yeah, nice. All right, yeah. let me let me get back in here. Got my nice cameo. Hope y'all appreciate <laughs> it. Yeah, scoot over a little more. Yeah, can't right. can't see you anymore. <laughs> All right, we got our nice little Zendikar Rising pack. There Couple it more. is. There we go. There we go. We got that list action. Told you. All right. Two more. We got, made it. This is a Flooded Strand art card. We got Forest, Core Celebrant, and a bunch of other comms and uncommons nobody really cares about. We got a Sajiri Shelter. We have our first wild card is Pressure Point. Our second one is Fly Fireblade Charger. Now, I saw this other one a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think it's a full art, and you can tell the full arts because you can see them from the side because they don't have that border. Yeah, the border right? So what full art borderless card do we have this time? It is Clear Water Pathway. Wow. 
So, wow. and we have another foil rare of Aura Skyclave Hierophant. This one isn't really worth anything because it's uh, um, the buy a box promo. But yeah, check this out clear water pathway, front and back. This is just beautiful, beautiful cards. Wonderful. So, we got these two, and we got a list card of Gigantosaurus. Wow. Triple rare. Just a 10 10 for five mana. Five mana. It was no a shit. big, big deal. It was a great little card. <laughs> I that's love awesome. that, right? Yeah, that's great. All right. Two, two more. Here two, we go. Two more packs. No list. We've got to see a list card in that last pack, everybody. Hey, check that out. That's one of those artist signature cards. Wow. That's awesome. Have you seen any of these? Yeah, Brad was telling me about them. That look, look, you see that like shine on that. Incredible. That's great. Yeah, nice. That's great. Got our swamp. Bunch of commons and uncommons. Malakir Rebirth. Our wild card is for the first one, Feed the Swarm. Deliberate. And then we have our rare is Inscription of Abundance. Nice, nice. With a foil of Blood Beckoning and a Construct Token. This has been a pretty awesome box. I'm not going to lie. Pretty good pull. Like, we're doing pretty great here. I'm enjoying these cards. This is, though... Our last pack. This box is unfortunately empty. Womp womp. Big womps. Big womps in chat. Fs. <laughs> but we'll take it through one one little step at a time here. Ah. Uh, no. There's no list card, Josh. We've hit all of our list cards. These have been really sweet list cards, though. So yeah. I'm not yeah, gonna lie. Point. I would have liked to see the scroll rack, but hey, I'll take this. You know, we've got our art card. A mountain, which that would have been foil for our last pack, but hey, I'll take oh, yeah. it. Stonework Pack Beast. That's right. I'm going to take it through all the cards this time for this last pack. Seagate Colossus. Marasa Brute. Synchronized Spellcraft. Sizzling Barrage. Domafada Vanguard. Colony Ambush. We have a first wild card is Vanquish the Week. Our second one is Adventure Awaits. And our rare is Scoot Swarm. That's another big card. It's like a one rare that's like over like $10, or at least was like in the last week. I haven't oh, wow. looked at the price in the last like day or two because I've, you know, things have been kind of hectic. Mm -hmm. But that is a sweet pull. I'll take that for our last pack, as well as a foil Akum Hellhound and an insect token. So those are sweet. But we got one last one, we got a big one. To open at the very end here to send to send us off and take us home this has been awesome before we get into this let's do a slight little recap here we hit the scoot swarm that was awesome let's just kind of lay them out here we hit the clear water pathway one foil rare we hit this was one of our list cards was gigantosaurus we hit magmatic channeler which is a really cool card really good card we hit Willow Dryad for another list card. Jace Mirror Mage is one mythic. And Maria's Call. We hit Cadaverous Knight. Kazandu Mammoth. We hit Crawling Barons for a foil rare. We hit Lotus Cobra. We hit the Dryad Arbor for another list card. And that was just awesome. Foil Akiri. So we hit like three foil rares out of this box. Like not bad at all. Uh -huh. Um... We hit the Foil River Glide Pathway. Drana. Retreat to Coral Helm for a list card. Same with Goblin Lore. We hit two pathways in a row. We hit Scourge of the Skyclaves. We hit Doran, the Siege Tower, for our last list card. So I think Madden Cough needs a little bit too because it's obviously a big mill card. But yeah, two, four, six, seven list cards it's about right you know yeah. multiply that before you get 28 so you know 30 packs you get a 25 percent chance it sounds about right you know yeah. sometimes you'll get eight sometimes you'll just get seven you know maybe sometimes a little less maybe sometimes a little more so i'll take that you know that's a pretty good uh dose of the list and this is, honestly these parts were pretty good hits as far as i'm concerned not all of them are money but like Doran's a couple dollars, Goblin Lore's a couple dollars, uh, and Dried Arbor's a few bucks. I think even Gigantosaurus is a little bit, just because it's such a cool, unique card. But, we gotta open the big card now. Bum, bum, bum. This is the Expedition, and I wanna see that Cavernous Souls. 
Let's see. There's a lot of cards I'd really like to see. All right, all right. We got it open. Got to be really careful so I don't like me on. mess the card up or anything. And what do we have? Let's see it. Ooh, oh, a Celestial Colonnade. Wow. Nice. I like these cards. I can't really get a good lighting on it, but like the foiling on these is really, really cool. So this art is awesome. And uh, I really, yeah, you can sort of see it there a little bit. But um, it's got like a pseudo, like the matte, like it's got a glossy matte finish. So like it looks like kind of foil, but kind of not. It's really cool. Um, I actually like this art a lot. This will probably replace the one I have in my cube. So this is sweet. It's not really worth as much as some of the higher end, like fetch lands and whatever. But this is a great hit. I love this. What do you think of these, Josh? Have you seen these? I haven't seen much of them yet. Um, but even just that, the art looks fantastic. And right? It's, it's more the, full art. It's got a unique border to it. The finish, like you were saying, like just the actual foil on it is really cool. Yeah, it's not like actually foil, but it looks kind of foil-ish. Yeah, right? So this is really cool. I... Uh, but yeah, so that's that about wraps it up. So let's bring pull. it on back to us here. Josh, what did you think of that? I had a ton of fun. I mean, these are fun packs to open. They're yeah. just, I mean, you get so much more. You get those two wild cards. You get the, uh, you know, you don't you, you don't know if you're gonna get something from the list or not. And it's almost kind of like it's a little rush every time you open one of them. Right. It's just a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this. Um, I know you haven't really actually opened an actual booster box. We're going to fix that soon for him. Don't worry. <laughs> but, um, so, yeah, this was really cool. Yeah, and, it was a really uh, great experience. So, uh, again, I'm Kendra Smith, the Maverick Girl. You know all know where to find me. If you don't know where to find me, then you can check me out down below. I got all the links, um, including like, my Twitter, where I'm very frequent and very active on, and all kinds of stuff. But, Josh, why don't you take a minute and plug your stuff he doesn't do magic content, but he does a lot of music stuff. Yeah, I'm, uh, I drum in a band, uh, Akiva the Band, A-K-I-V-A, the band. Um, we put out uh, an EP earlier this year, and we're working on tons of cool music to hopefully have out uh, before the end of this year. I'll drop a few links in the, in the description. There you go as well. And uh, yeah, I'm also a producer, uh, an engineer. Um, I'm working on a new lo-fi project that should be out in like uh two weeks or so but yeah just a lot of hip-hop just a lot of fun I, I have fun making music honestly i mean that's just what i want to do so. and and now you're having fun playing magic exactly <laughs> no, yeah yeah they're yeah. right yeah right yeah no it's all right so fun. this was a great little time and i can't wait to do this again i'm gonna have another uh set booster box next week and then after that uh, it's a little dicey. Zendikar Rising is obviously low print run, hard to find right now. But I'm going to do my best, and I'm going to try and see if I can get myself a collector booster box. And we'll see if we can open up that box. That's the only... I don't know if you've seen those. Those are only 12 packs. Not 30 packs. They're 12 packs. And they're but they're loaded with foils, rare showcase cards. Um, from what I, you, Instead of coming with one of these sh uh, expedition cards, it comes with two, oh, guaranteed. Wow. And you have you're likely to open like two to three in your box in your actual booster packs. Whoa, really? As actual foil versions. Oh, well, so like super actual value for Zendikar Rising. The other yeah. ones have been a little hit yeah. and miss depending on the set, but this one is chock full of value. So I'm very excited to open those when I get around to them. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. Stay tuned next week. We're gonna have more set boosters. That's gonna be a great time. Till then, everybody. See you around. Have a great one.